Now the next step, I'm going to start from this here in line mode. I'm going to draw a line from that midpoint to that midpoint, from that midpoint to that midpoint. And now I'm going to offset to start creating my walls. Offset 4.5 feet, and that gives me 9 feet that way, 4.5 feet. Now for the sake of argument, I'm also going to create an offset of 12 inches from there and I'll be using that to locate my roof later on in this process. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and create the walls. We want to create basically a box. And that box, if you look at the notes, is inscribed within a 15 foot by 9 by 9 box. So box from there to there 15 feet tall. If we type hot pan and move that box into view, region first because you can't pan in hide mode, pan downward, hide so that I can see the face. I want to create a UCS on one of these faces to create my first profile. I know that my dimensions are exact so I create this line to locate the apex. I also want to offset this baseline here according to the notes that's 10 foot 6 and that gives me the corner of that object. I want to offset that center line 2 feet so that it gives me the width of the door and I want to offset one more element to give me the height of the door and that's 8 feet and that's this element there. I now just trace with my P-line, start with the apex, one, okay, let me turn off my tracking, so P-line, from here, and I'm, oh, turn off my ortho, I need to check my object snaps, because obviously it's not snapping, I need to turn on intersection, intersection, where are you? Well, it is on. For some reason, it's not snapping. So I'm going to... Okay. Why is the intersection not snapping? Because there's no line along this plane. And there's no line along that plane. An edge of a ob 3D object and a line intersecting is not an intersection. Now, if I type P-line, you will see... Oh, well. Let's see... Let's go ahead and trim that object. Trim that object. And do P line from here to there, to there, to there. And we just trace this profile until it completes. As you can see, the highlighted object. We extrude that object backwards, negative six. And that object locates itself. I will draw a diagonal line across the top. This will allow me to array. Of course, we want a UCS parallel to the world because we need to rotate around. So array, polar, select object, this object, select center, that center, preview, and accept. Now I'm going to grab these three objects. I'm going to move four objects, I should say, and I'm going to move their layer to walls. They all turn blue. Now, for the sake of seeing the world, I'm going to make walls current by clicking on it with nothing selected, and then I'm going to turn off zero by freezing it. If I type hide, you see the objects. Now notice the intersections that occur when we array. We simply do union. We union object 1, 2, 3, 4. Type hide again, and the intersection is resolved. 